Hello guys and welcome back to the Games Kingdom. My name's Cole King and today we're going to be looking at a new fantasy skirmish game by Spellcrow called Umbra Tauris. Spellcrow are based in Europe and they've brought this out fairly recently. They've sent me a couple of factions and a rule book to sort of have a look at and review and uh, without further ado let's have a go through them. So first off we'll start with the two factions I've been sent. We've been sent a copy of the Temple Guards, so there's quite a nice picture on the box there of the models sort of uh, finished painted. And the models uh, came mostly one piece, although a few you just had to sort of glue either the odd hand and or weapon onto the body. And uh, yeah, the, uh, the sculpt is very nice, very clean, uh, very little if any clean up and sort of mould lines. And um, very, very nice, nice models. So it, there we have the first one is some sort of berserker stroke uh, barbarian. We have a female dwarf with a hand weapon and a crossbow. This is a sort of assassin type uh, creature uh, with a couple of hand weapons. And he has a humanoid body, but he has the head and feet of a lion. That's a bit of a new one on me, but that is a very nice model. A female fighter. We have a halfling with sword and hand weapon. Sorry, sword, hand weapon, and shield. And a elf archer. So that is the temple guard. And with that, we've got again a nicely sort of uh, box there showing off the painted miniatures of the Pilgrims of Darkness. So here we have a rather nasty, sort of creepy looking goblin with a hand weapon. We have a male wizard stroke necromancer there. We have an orc in a nice flowing cloak and a hand weapon. We have a, what looks to me like a little goblin shaman. We have a male dwarf with an axe and shield and a little humanoid guy there in a mask throwing a dagger. So those are the models. Uh, as I say I haven't painted any of them up yet. I thought I'd show them off in their unpainted state so you could get a look at uh, what they are, the sort of quality that they come as. As I say I've done very very little cleaning up of those and only had to put a few bits on them and they are literally, you know, you could play a game with them unpainted. Uh, I will be painting them up shortly. Uh, and basing them so that once we're back up and running in sort of clubs and meetings around the country I can get this to a table with some friends and um, sort of see how they play. So those are the factions and we move on to the rule book. Nice little A5 hardback rule book. The only thing colour in the whole rule book are the front and back covers and it says it contains the game rules, a full description of creating your heroes and parties, because that is something that you do, and how to start the game guide. When I say about creating your heroes and parties, it's got the feel of a cross between a skirmish figure game and a game of something like D&D or Pathfinder, where you're creating each individual character in your party to go as you would into a dungeon or a campaign in a role playing game you're doing very similar things with these and it is primarily for 28 mil but i'm sure you could use this in 15 and above um sort of you know sort of 40 mil if you've got those sort of size figures you you'd get away with it quite easily as i say the rest of the book on the inside all of the artwork and pictures are all black and white now I think that's quite nice it adds to you know a bit more of an atmospheric feel and 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 gothic looking thing to a lot of the pictures in the book uh, I, I like it I, I'm the only thing I would have added potentially would have been a small color section at the back but that would have been simply about painting a few of the models but it doesn't have it, it it's not a detraction and I'm sure most of you guys out there you know, we'll paint these up in your own paint schemes anyway. But, you know, if anybody picks this up brand new that hasn't done the game or something of this ilk before, sometimes those sort of things are, are, are quite nice 
um, just to show sort of beginners of uh, you know painting and things you know give them a few tips so you've got a sort of little bit of a blurb about the background you've got uh, an index of contents a nice map of the sort of setting that the game is in and you're straight into how to play the game the characteristics of your character or characters figures how the game plays the cycles and phases and then into things like movement climbing falling combat shooting you know all the basics are covered well laid out well thought out there's some nice little touches in here that aren't in some of the other games um, that I've played sort of uh, fantasy skirmish wise then you've got your magic section and there are several domains as they call them uh, of magic there's three five eight eleven different domains of which there are three spells in each domain and they are from a sort of unlimited range on the tabletop down to 10 centimeters um, some only affect the mage themselves so it's a you know well thought out again section of, of magic not too many spells in each uh, thing so that you you know you don't get bogged down in saying well you know there's six and I can only take two um, there's, there's three in each and uh, but there you know there's 11 different uh, domains that you can pick from you've got psychology in the game and then you come on to how to create your party and your alignments within your party so again very similar to things like D&D &D, you've got good lawful neutral evil and anarchists so you, you, you pick one of those for each of your models you've got the different races you know your standard humans elves dwarves orcs goblins gnomes but you've got halflings dark fawns half giants and things called tigerians and vorax so there are a couple of new uh, species that i've not heard of before and then again you've got them listed where you've got different two different dwarven races and your orcs and you can then choose your race alignment so again a very much sort of um, D, D RPG type stuff but then you've got the things like the dark fawns and the targaryens and the vorax again you know you've got all the different bits and pieces and you've got a little sort of description about each race within this section that sort of helps you choose um, how you want to set your character up and how you're going to play them but you've also got things like professions so again very similar to uh, other games and rpgs you get to pick a profession for your for your models your characters so you can be druids shamans paladins black knights alchemists you can be a tracker a ranger a bard you know there's there's pages of these things and it gives you so much depth and sort of options um you know you, you could use the same six figures but you know you could make very very different war bands from it with you know and and pick and choose which ones of those you want to play depending on the game you're playing and who you're playing against potentially so you know you you're just not restricted in uh, in things at all it's been it's been well put together and then you've even got guilds that you can join assassins mages mercenaries thieves you come onto your equipment there's there's not a lot of stuff in here but then you know a sword's a sword within reason you know you've got your short weapons you've got different sort of uh, ranged weapons firearms so you've got muskets you can use small cannons blunderbusses crossbows you know there's different things for you know if, if you roll a one when rolling to hit on certain things the attack misses and the hero using the thing must roll a d6 and on a four plus you lose a number of wounds equal to the damage of the weapon so you know if you're using a an unreliable black powder weapon you know it, it can sort of backfire and explode in your face and, and kill you so these nice little touches um i quite like you've got your armor section additional equipment ropes potions poisons that sort of thing and then close to the back you've got a section on starting the game what you need terrain how that affects things you've got loot um You've got little maps there that sort of like shows, you know, some little layouts that you can put down on the tabletop for 
different battles and deployment zones, that sort of thing. There is a deck of cars that you can buy uh, that you can use in the game, but I don't think that you have to use them. Uh, I could be wrong, but uh, you know, I'm sure you could play the game without the cards, um, but I think they just add another extra dimension to it. You can play more than two player. It's, it is primarily a one against one, but there are little nuances that change if you have sort of three or four players within a game. And that's it. It's sort of 90 odd pages long. It's been well put together. I think they've done some extensive play testing on this because it's quite, you know, quite a honed little system. Uh, I've read through it a couple of times. I can't see anything that, you know, I think wouldn't sort of work on a tabletop or might be too contentious. You know, there's always things that crops up that, you know, you just roll the D6 and sort it out between you. But nice little book inexpensive and if you took that to a game night and that's all you needed along with a few dice and you've got your terrain at your clubs you know you can have a game in an hour and a half a couple of hours tops depending on how many and and how uh, new or whatever experience you were in the game the models look great there are many more factions on their website go and check it out there's individual um, characters as well and models I think they're starting to do scenery as well and buildings. Spellcrow, www.spellcrow.com. Go and check them out. And hopefully we'll get this to the tabletop in the not too distant future. Thanks again, guys, and we'll see you next time.